Hello, welcome to the MD Law team. Uh, I'm Dan Murphy, I'm the managing partner. We've probably already met in a job interview uh, situation. Uh, today I want to talk to you about uh, leads, okay? Uh, they're the lifeblood of our business. So we do active internet marketing and advertising uh, to generate leads for our lawyers. Uh, this prevents you having to find clients, but uh, how you handle the leads is critically important to your success and also the firm's success. Leads are essentially provided uh, through Google or uh, Facebook or through other mechanisms and then uh, forwarded to yourself, either in a voicemail or email. And uh, what's critical is they are uh, responded to almost immediately. Uh, what's happening when someone does a lead is they're looking through Google, they're browsing, and they're selecting lawyer after lawyer after lawyer and uh, filling in forms uh, to have uh, that lawyer or another lawyer contact them back. So uh, in terms of timelines, I would suggest you have about 15 to 20 minutes to respond to a lead. Once you uh, receive the lead, uh, it's your job to sell uh, yourself and the uh, law firm to the prospective client. When you take the phone call, uh, you first want to introduce yourself and uh, by name and then also introduce the fact that you work for the MD Law Group. Uh, they may have submitted forms to a number of law firms, so you want to be sure they know exactly who they're speaking to. After you've done that, uh, you want to indicate that you've had an opportunity to read the email, listen to the voicemail, and understand uh, the issue they're facing but ask them to give you a detailed account of what uh, the problem they may have or what the legal issue may be. This allows you to develop rapport with the client uh, and uh, by listening actively, uh, responding where appropriate, uh, the client uh, will uh, hopefully uh, have an affinity towards yourself. Then at that point, uh, it comes to a question of, you know, how much advice do I give at this time? The answer is uh, not much. Uh, you say you indicate you can help with these issues, that the MD Law Group is familiar with these type of issues and handles these type of issues, depending on what area of law it is. If you're a family lawyer, obviously you're talking about family law and you indicate uh, we're a family law firm uh, as well as other areas of law. And uh, we certainly have dealt with, say, it's a custody issue or a child support issue uh, on many occasions. and. Uh, would be happy to help them. Uh, they may want to know a little bit about the law firm. At this point, you can highlight uh, the law firm's, uh, uh, I guess, accolades. Uh, one of the accolades would be our uh, Google reviews. Uh, we've got a perfect five-star review, uh, hundreds of uh, reviews on Google, and uh, have uh, distinguished ourselves amongst the best law firms in criminal law, and family law uh, in Edmonton. And you, you'd want to point that out. You also want to speak a little bit about yourself and your own experience, all done to assure them they're talking to someone who's credible and someone who can indeed help them with their issue. At that point, after some discussion, uh, you would also indicate uh, that there has to be a discussion in regards to finances. And uh, I often tell them, you know, that. Uh, Obviously, lawyers are seen as expensive, so I would like to discuss uh, money, okay? Now, it varies depending on your practice area how this discussion of money occurs. Uh, for every area of law, with the exception of criminal law, uh, there is a paid consultation to begin. So you would uh, indicate to them that we offer paid consultations. Uh, these are thorough consultations where we give them an hour of our time and discuss their issue. Uh, the cost of one of these consultations typically is $250 with tax and uh, we bring them in person uh, so that we can look over any documents they may have. Uh, this gives them uh, a sense of value uh, that they're receiving through the discussion. Then you would break down your hourly fee. Uh, the hourly fee varies by lawyer. Uh, you'll have an hourly fee uh, which yourself and I can discuss and you would let them know uh, what that hourly fee would be 
and also what the retainer would be because of course you want to ensure you do receive uh, a retainer uh, amount before uh, beginning any work. So uh, for family law, uh, a retainer can range from $3,000 to $5,000 to get started. Uh, $300 an hour, that's about 10 hours of work uh, uh, for family law. And you would have the uh, prospective lead uh, pay these $3,000 to you up front. Now you do have some flexibility here. If they don't have the $3,000, but are eager to work with you, uh, we are amenable to payment plans. Uh, so um, you can divide the payment into two uh, or three, um, but I would, wouldn't advise going beyond that uh, and also set up a payment schedule. Uh, the payment schedule then uh, would be put to them and uh, if they're agreeable, you would indicate to them that they could pay by e-transfer, credit card, or cash when they come in for their consultation. Uh, the e-transfer instructions uh, will be provided to you. Uh, Amanda, who is the office manager, uh, has the e-transfer instructions and can give them to you. And uh, often what I do if I'm talking on the cell phone to them is I will text them those instructions immediately after getting off the phone uh, just so I can secure the lead and ensure the money is in trust. Uh, at that point, I tell them I will have a retainer agreement sent out Speak, speak to the requisite uh, assistant and uh, have the retainer sent out as soon as possible. Of course, the assistant needs time and sometimes is busy, but the sooner the retainer agreement is signed, the sooner you can lock in the client. Uh, if, if, you've all, if all is in order, you will walk away with not only a paid consultation, but a, uh, a retainer uh, to be paid and uh, you will have a client. Now, the, uh, on the odd occasion, you'll just simply go through the paid consultation. The paid consultation is another opportunity for you to sell yourself to the client, where you explain your services and uh, your skill set, and uh, hopefully are able to close them on a uh, further retainer by the end of the consultation. Don't walk away because they're not willing to retain you and only conduct a paid consultation. Uh, in regards to consultations, some uh, uh, clients will ask for free consultations. Now, we don't offer free consultations. The reason being uh, time is money and uh, you have limited amounts of time in a day. So they are paid consultations. And uh, if someone's unable to pay for a consultation, they're unlikely to pay your fee. So uh, don't hesitate to ask uh, uh, quite quite upfront uh, for that fee. Uh, and if you've sold uh, the MD Law Group properly and explained your qualifications, uh, it's a no brainer. They should be happy to hire you. All this is done uh, in a no pressure environment. Uh, you're positive. Uh, you're trying to help them with their issue. Uh, they'll get that sense from you. And uh, as I say, most almost all of my lawyers have a very high success rate in closing uh, leads either uh, consultations or consultations and retainers. This is uh, just a small tutorial on what to do uh, when uh, dealing with leads. What the key is timing, make sure you get to that lead quickly, uh, make sure you uh, respond as soon as you receive it and uh, let the other lawyers in your practice area group know that you've got that. So when I do send out the leads, uh, I, send, I send the lead to the entire group. Uh, whoever responds, I've got it, or I'm gonna handle it, uh, will have that lead. Um, the practice groups will often work out systems where they do one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, uh, I'm open to any system. Uh, what is most important to the, myself as the managing partner is that the lead is responded to uh, quickly. Uh, as I said, we wanna shoot for that 15 to 20 minute uh, mark if we can, because then we will beat out the competition. Okay, so that's uh, a little bit about leads and a little bit about how the firm works. Uh, you will have clients uh, galore uh, if you just uh, pick up that phone and make those phone calls. And if you're having any trouble with the leads, please do contact me. Thank you.